Okay. What to talk about today? I think my favorite time of day Because, like, nighttime can be good if you've worked hard during the day and you come home to relax and you have time to relax. And just, like, eat something and watch an episode of something. And if you have time to sleep and don't have to wake up super early the next morning. Morning can be good if, I don't know, if you have a full day ahead of you. to fill with something of your choosing when it's not just work or something kind of in a sense chosen for me so what is your favorite time of day afternoon is just kind of eh waking up eh falling asleep is kind of hard I have trouble falling asleep. I used to hide in sleep. Like, I feel like in life there's things that you can hide in when you're scared of something in the future. It can be hiding in TV shows, in movies, in friends, in a relationship. Not that I've had one. In work, in school, things that are even good can be hidden in to not deal with actual problems. But I used to hide in sleep, like, if there's something very scary, or like something coming up that was just hard to deal with, I would hide in bed. Kind of like sleep during the day or be in bed during the day kind of thing. That's where I used to hide. I don't know if that's still where I hide. Yeah, now, now I don't know that I use that to hide so much. Now I don't even know that I hide. Because at least you can always take small steps towards something. Like, I had something stressful just before going on earlier this week, and I just kind of took it a day at a time and just kind of figured my way and kind of tried to weigh things, you know. And then now I have something crazy stressful going on, like roommate stuff. And, like, I've still had, I've had different cool things happen this week. Like, the MLK talk at Concordia on Monday was, like, the, like, well, like, I may not see everything through their perspective, you know, these, these activists or these speakers, but, like, they still open my eyes to a way to see something or to see how strongly other people can see certain things in their missions or in their, like, what they're like, there are people that see certain things strongly. I don't know. But it just, that was something. Then Tuesday, MLK talk at MSUM. Wednesday, modeled at NDSU. And then went to the urban culture thing that Fargo Moorhead Symphony puts on, which was dope. There's this woman that that is an opera singer and tra- and just travels a lot because she has something opera that is a something she can offer the world in different in different places she can offer that and I've thought about this before like what could I offer you know like what's my what do I offer. And like a, like 
if I'm somewhere, what do I have to offer, you know, people? But I don't, I have nothing honed that could be of that level that I could take around the world and through that be able to experience all these different places. still feel committed to the MBA anyway. Then Thursday. Thursday I worked. <laughs> and one thing that was cool is that Drake and Future have a song called Life is good, and me and this other dude that were doing day labor, we were wearing like uh, I forget what they're called, but it looks like the same thing that Drake and Future are wearing in the beginning of that music video when they were taking out trash, but we were doing demolition type stuff. But um, um. So that was cool because we actually were like kind of singing that to each other briefly here and there. Um, Friday I worked too, but then Saturday, yesterday, I went to this silent disco thing that was dope. Like everyone has headphones, you hear your music through your headphones, you can choose from one or two channels, from, from one of two channels. Um, And, and it shows on your headphone, like, there's a light that shows if you're on the red channel or the blue channel, and there's a green instruction channel that actually has music in the background, so technically people dance to that at points, I did too after I saw people doing that, later on I did that, um, but then Friday, I actually ended up purchasing Kingdom Hearts Remind on my PS3 or PlayStation Network, whatever, and Kingdom Hearts is huge for me. And and then also on Thursday, maybe? Yeah, I think Thursday, I finally found most stuff Oreos. Finally. Like, a large pack, the large pack, the, like, like an actual pack, not just a small pack. And even a small pack was a blessing and beautiful to find. So, I think that was Thursday. But yeah, Friday I... If I recall correctly, I think I watched an episode of Black Mirror and I had like pizza that I got for... I got a large, like, I believe a large, like a large pizza, I believe. And like a two liter coke for like four dollars and ten cents. Then so I even with my candy that I got and whatever, it was still like seven it was seven dollars and something cents. Um <laughs> I think it's still the receipt. But um but yeah, Saturday went to that silent disco thing. Um, then went to the OB then went to Bucks, then went to um, a friend's, like, birthday party, redo, and ran into Ishan and Anna, haven't seen them for a while, um, and there's dancing, beer pong, though I didn't drink, we brought, we, me and my friend brought cake, and the friend paid for the cake, and, but also all this other stuff, too. <laughs> Um, that you wanted to bring. And then went back to her place and, like, actually got to cuddle with her, which is something that I don't normally get to do, like, to just cuddle with someone, like, to just give someone love. That's not something I normally get, or that someone, you know, with what guys, maybe, maybe because of what guys do in this culture. Um, 
people are just very, girls can just be very weird, but this person actually trusts me. And, and so that was technically Sunday that the cuddling happened, because we went back at like, we got back from the party at like 7 a.m. So this week there's a bunch of beautiful things powerful things that happened like special meaningful powerful or whatever maybe even little but meaningful i don't know but they're like most stuff oreos have been looking for forever um or wanting or that's just been a thing not that i think about it like regularly but um Like Kingdom Hearts is huge. That's supposed to be a huge thing between me and God. And I had a powerful moment before I started playing that game where I just kind of, of my soul and just kind of feeling stuff before I started playing that game. But yeah, so like, if I just stayed in bed, even though, yeah, I feel weird about the roommate thing and it doesn't, it doesn't make sense what is being said or like what's what's happening feels unreal there's all this beauty to be had you know so just there's no need to hide and sleep like you can do that fortitude fortitude a calm moment thing where you take the time you need to recover or whatever but just take small steps 